Hey guys, Jimmy here. I wanted to make a quick video to talk a little bit about four-wheel drive systems or all-wheel drive systems, four motion, and, and those kinds of things on the newer cars. So as you know, right, um, Subaru has all-wheel drive or symmetrical all-wheel drive they have for a long time, which basically is all mechanical. In other, in other words, it, it doesn't have to think about it. It just does it, right? It's mechanical. Um, I have a Volkswagen Tiguan that's four motion. And it's a little bit different from traditional all-wheel drive systems that you might see in cars. Now, a lot of them are going to the same kind of system. What this car basically is in a four motion, so for those of you that have a Volkswagen, if you want to know about four motion, listen to this video. So four motion basically is um, front wheel drive with a Haldex unit. And the Haldex unit is basically a differential that engages when it needs to. Needs to. So basically, all the power in the car goes to the front wheels all the time unless it detects a slip in which it engages the clutches in the rear end, giving you some rear wheel drive and splitting it like 50-50, right? So initially when I got this vehicle, I had went from a Subaru to a Volkswagen and I kind of I kind of thought the all-wheel drive system on this thing sucked, right? Because it says online, uh, Volkswagen's patented four-motion all-wheel drive system. Kind of a play on words because it's not really all-wheel drive, which I'll get to in a second. So my wife parked over in the corner of the yard one day, it was raining not really anything crazy, a little bit of mud, but the car was basically just a little bit uh, articulated kind of off center and she got stuck. The vehicle wouldn't move. I got in, I tried to, tried to go. The one wheel in the front and one in the back were spinning and it would not go. It was just kind of jerking. Um, and yeah, so I was like, this kind of, kind of sucks, man. <laughs> this is not all wheel drive. Four motion sucks. I missed the Subaru. Well, I kind of got to researching a little bit and like looking at uh, wheel braking and just re researching all-wheel drive systems. Basically, the way that new all-wheel drive systems work, they send pulses to the brakes. Some of you might already know this, but if you don't, it sends pulses to the brakes um, of the wheel that's spinning in order to basically move the power away from that spinning wheel to the wheel that's that's grounded or has traction. Now, this is different in my truck. It's an F-150, a 2015. It does the same thing, but it doesn't have to spin as long. So you know, on, on a whim, I got back in the car, I got it, you know, in the same kind of situation. And, um, instead of just holding the gas pedal constantly and letting it jerk, I floored it. I just held it to the floor and the car eventually climbed out of where it needed, you know, climbed out of being stuck. Um, I've done this three or four more times now. So basically if you're in a new all wheel drive SUV or a Volkswagen or something that's not symmetrical all wheel drive, like the older Subaru stuff, just know that sometimes you have to floor the vehicle in order for it to basically, um, the way it's programmed, it has to be able to apply the brakes to the spinning wheels and direct the power away. And if it doesn't have enough power, it can't throw enough power to that wheel on the ground to go. So basically you're having to floor the accelerator, you know, push it all the way down in order to give it ample power to climb out. So just know that, that if you have four motion, it's not really all wheel drive though. It will behave as such when it needs to, but just, um, yeah, in the, in the truck, like I said, I can hold the, the gas pedal down a little bit. It will eventually figure it out for motion, you have to floor it in order for it to throw enough surge to that wheel on the ground to basically you'll feel the vehicle rocking and jerking. It will figure it out, but you have to let it figure it out and you have to be giving it ample power. You can't just hold the pedal slightly down. It's It seems aggressive, but I'm just telling you the truth. Floor it, let it eat, and it will figure it out. So that's, that's how the four motion system works. And um, some of these newer systems, these all-wheel drive systems, the traction control is really aggressive. It doesn't want to allow you to dig. Um, sometimes it may or may not help you turning off the traction control while you're doing it. But if you're stuck in an all wheel drive or newer all wheel drive, floor the vehicle and see if it doesn't figure it out because I'm willing to bet that it does unless you're kind of high centered and, and bottomed on the frame. So take care guys. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, more educational content to come.